everyone welcome or welcome back so for today's video we're going to be making the cauliflower tempura that i was going to make on my last video go check it out but we're going to be making it today so let's get started So the recipe says that it will take 10 minutes to prep, 20 minutes to cook, and it'll be ready in 30 minutes. The ingredients that you need are cauliflower, flour. I got unbleached flour, I hope that's, that's cool. We're gonna need some oil because we're gonna be deep frying them. Two eggs. So for this first step, we're going to take the cauliflower and um, break them up. And while I do that, I'm just boiling some water because um, this will be going right in there soon as I finish. I try to cut it differently some of this other, the other time, but I was doing it wrong and I saw somewhere that you have to like take off the stem first and like cut off the stem and then it'll be easier to do it, but it's kind of hard. Wow, look at me. And then it'll be easier to like have whole pieces of cauliflower. I think I'm gonna want them to be around like this size. So that's what I'm gonna do when I finish this. We're gonna let them um, boil for like two minutes. So the cauliflower has been boiling. Okay, so according to Google, 100 grams of flour is about three fourths of a cup. So we're gonna be filling up the flour to here and putting it into this bowl. For the next step, we're going to take two eggs and we're gonna separate the egg yolk and the egg whites into these two bowls. Let's see how that goes. Okay, the next step, after separating the eggs, put the flour in a large bowl with a pinch of salt. I didn't put salt in there. That was like a pinch. So I have the flour, I have the salt. Whisk the egg yolks and 175 milliliters of iced water together. So we're gonna take the yolk and some water. Then we're gonna take the egg yolk. We're gonna use 175 milliliters. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil into the flour, one, oops, two. And then we're going to take this egg and we're gonna mix it into the flour. So now we're gonna pour this in here. In a separate clean bowl, we're gonna whisk the egg whites until it's stiff and then fold it into the batter. It says to whisk it until it's stiff. So I'm just going. It's not doing anything though. Am I supposed to add something? Whisk the egg whites until stiff and then add to the batter. Okay, wait, I think it's doing something. It's bubbling up now. My hands. My hands are tired. <laughs> I try to switch it up. I'm not a lefty, clearly. If I had a, what's it called? One of those stirring machines, whisking machines. This would have been so much easier. That'd be nice to have. I've always wanted to have one of those. I'll buy one someday. So I could bake, make some cakes. All right, I've been doing this for a little while. I think I'm gonna just mix it in here now. Now I'm going to just heat up some oil for the deep frying. I'm going to put just enough where I think I could deep fry like a few of them at a time. 
So we'll just wait a few minutes for that. So I set a timer for the oil to heat up for about five minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna just keep mixing this. And then obviously we're gonna be putting the cauliflower in here, coating them in the thing, and then deep frying them in the oil. So we're just gonna give that some time. But I think this batter is looking decent, I think. It doesn't look wrong. Then again, I don't know what the right way would look like. Well, let's see, let's, let's figure it out. Okay, so now the oil has been boiling, not boiling, the oil has been heating up for like five minutes. So now I'm going to take the cauliflower and I'm going to start dipping them in this. Make sure that we made the batter. And then we're gonna start frying them. Let's see how they go. Let's see how they turn out. We're gonna start with one. And you have to cook it until they're a little golden. Maybe I could have put more oil in here. This is the final product. So some of them don't look very tempura-y. This one looks tempura-y. I'm sure they still taste good. I think the batter just wasn't maybe thick enough. Just for a little more flavor, I'm gonna put some chili powder on it. Mostly because it smells like it would be good on it. And I'm also just gonna put some pepper and some salt. Oop, that was a lot of pepper. Let's see, what it tastes like. Now let's taste it. Hmm. Just taste that cauliflower. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to rate the cauliflower um, tempura. The cauliflower was good. It wasn't very tempura-y. Obviously the recipe didn't have much seasoning in it, but I threw in some salt and stuff. Definitely needed more salt, more seasoning, like after the fact. Maybe if I had like a good sauce with it, it would be good. But I'm thinking I'm gonna give it like a, like a four. Cause I expected it to be so much better. I ate it at this restaurant once and it was so good. But, mm, I mean, it's good. It tastes healthy. I just need more stuff and more tempura. Maybe the batter needs to be like thicker or something because when I put it in the pot to fry, it was like falling apart. So yeah, I'm gonna give it like a four. Today was a fail, but it's okay. We're gonna learn. I'm gonna try this again and we're gonna make it better. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please like this video, comment down below what you think I should have did differently. Um, and see you guys next Thursday. Bye.